Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome along to Azerbaijan, round 8 of my F1 career mode, season 1. Currently sat in at ninth with 26 points. I was going to be heading to this race where I have never raced around before, so things could get quite interesting. Anyway, let's get into practice. So on to the track acclimatization test, and um, actually our first time wasn't too bad. We got a 420, so only 5 points under, but then we like went massively... Um, deep into turn one, so um, yeah, couldn't really improve at this point in the run. Um, but it was becoming apparent this track was going to need some practice as um, further on on the lap, we just ploughed straight on into the barrier at the um, left hander there, and um, that was basically the end of P1. I um, feel like I've been having a lot of these incidents recently, which has been uh, not so great, not so great for the team, I'll admit. But um, anyway, on to P2, and this is the third lap around P2. Did the same again, not as severe though, we only damaged the wing. So I decided what I was going to do is just go on to race pace and just can try and consistently put some laps in. We actually got a good pace um, marker in this one, and um, we went back out and re-ran it, and we actually got the optimal pace. So I, by doing this, I was actually you know settling down into the track a little bit more, getting to know it, getting to know the braking points. And I was starting to feel a bit more um, comfortable with the track. Um, tire wear, as always, with uh, myself. We got the purple in the tire wear, which is really, really good. And same with fuel saving. I actually cheekily here just like let off the throttle just to get into the purple right at the end there because it was nip and tuck as to whether we'd get it. So, um, yeah, by this point I was starting to get confident, but then, you know, we had a moment there, lost the front wing. And that is the end of P3. So, um all in all, we finished 12th uh, with a 149.4. So, um, yeah, hopefully we can do just as well as we move on into qualifying. Moving on into qualifying one, and um, this is actually lap one. And um, had a bit of a moment there, got um, caught up on the curb. Um, minor damage, though, so I decided, you know what, we don't need to pit in. We can actually carry on just going really slowly here to let the car behind me go before I start building up speed again. But um, end of the second lap, as we come up to across the line, it's going to be a 152.78, which um, puts us in 11th ahead of our qualifying target for now. So, um, yeah, later on in the lap, though, this is the fifth lap of qualifying. We went too deep and we lost the car again. Which, unfortunately, brought an end to our qualifying session. So I think that's like two or three, maybe three races in a row now. We haven't actually got out of Q1. But uh, we weren't at the bottom. Uh, P17 for the race. This is what the starting grid looks like for today's race. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position, with Sebastian Vettel starting alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Raikkonen, Daniel Ricciardo, and Perez, Verstappen, Hülkenberg, Massa, and Esteban Ocon, Grosjean, Kvyat, Carlos Sainz, and Stroll, Palmer, Alonso, Ahas, and Pascal Wehrlein. Ericsson and Stoffel van Dorn completes the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track. We're below where we should be on the grid. We want you to go in aggressive, take a few positions off the start. Remember, be aware and keep safe. Thanks for that, Jeff. So, uh, on to the strategy, and I was actually going to... Um, increase the fuel a little bit. Um, it's been under fueling this because we've been performing so well on the fuel tests, but um, I wanted to put more in just to allow me um, a bit of an opportunity to, um, you know, go crazy and not have to fuel safe the entire race. Um, I will say as well, unfortunately, in this race, I totally forgot to record and save the replay, so it is going to be all in car footage for this one. I do apologize for that, guys. Anyway, um, Getting ready, warming up on the formation lap. Um, Jeff has told us to go in really aggressive uh, off the start here, so um, hopefully we can do him proud. And um, as he wants us to, um, you know, make up some places. So just warming the tyres, warming the brakes, making sure I'm just doing some stop starting on the brakes to get them nice and warm. Anyway, it's time for lights out, and away we go. Not a bad start, we're pulled alongside Alonso and we switch over to the inside on the inside of Stroll to try and take some more places and I think we got away with it, we may have just had a tiny bit of contact there with Kvyat but um, that's a good start, we've had up five places into turn one and we dive down the inside of Kvyat again 
So, um, yeah, a sixth place uh, makeup on the opening couple of corners. We did actually have another squabble there with Kivya. I did try and leave him room, but um, it seems like he wanted to go around the outside and wasn't really going to take much of it as we try and dive down the inside of Ocon to take 10th place into a point scoring position. And um, it's a seven place gain in like the first three or four corners, which is um, really good start indeed. Hopefully we can, you know, settle down into a groove and um, make the most of it um, going forward. As we um, actually clip the barrier, but get away with it. We're really lucky, only light damage on the front wings. That shouldn't affect us too much. Um, at this stage in the race, but I think I will in a minute on the um, um, menu option. I will make sure that I do turn off to replace the front wing because I really don't want to waste that much time. I just want to, you know, get down into a groove, settle down, try and um, bring home some points for the team and my, um, you know, championship uh, battle. into the final section of the uh, track now and that, that, that corner there I, find, I always find that one really really tricky um, I normally end up bouncing over the curbs um, which has sent me into the wall as you guys saw at the end of uh, the practice or was it, sorry, the qualifying one so um, yeah anyway this through the fast section here trying to build a bit of a gap turn the fuel mode up to rich just to give me that little bit of extra power and performance um, against Ocon but I think I'm far enough ahead here. He's not really going to make much of a challenge. Just checking the wing mirrors and the, he's nowhere to be seen. So we turn it back down towards the end of the straight and um, hopefully get a good turn in. And we can press on to lap two. Fingers crossed. We think there's a viable strategy change available to us. Would you like to keep to the current plan or try the new one? So Jeff informs us of the strategy change and we decide to take it, hoping that we can, you know, potentially undercut a few of these guys into the pits we've got a teammate Roman Grosjean he's all over us behind I think we're going to have a tricky time here down into um, turn one he'll have DRS so um, up in it into rich mode trying to um, hold as best as I can I've, I've kind of held myself to the inside here thinking that he can go around the outside now I'll have the inside for turn one as we go side by side coming over the uh, start finish line and um, last of the late breakers here as we turn in, hold the line. He did actually clip us slightly, even though we left him in a room. Uh, but we do emerge out of that, still in P10 ahead of him. On to lap four, coming on to the final part of the lap again. And I'm not really going to put too much of a fight up against Grosjean here because we are going to dive into the left here and into the pits to make an early pit stop in the hope that we can try and undercut some of these guys. Nobody else around me is pitting. Sorry, I tell a lie. Somebody in front of me has pitted. Um, I think it's a Williams. Looks like a Williams. So, yeah. But other than that, just the two of us pitting. Everybody else has gone through. So, um, fingers crossed we can get a good pit stop, good exit, and make this strategy call work. Very slow away there, unfortunately. I don't know what was going on. I released the clutch, but the car just didn't move. So, we, um, we've lost a lot of time on the pit stop, which is not good. So we really need to like buckle down and um, concentrate. We've got a bit of wheel spin on the exit there as well and was very lucky not to um, um, get damage against the barrier. Lap five as we come up to the end of the lap and cars have started to pit. So let's see um, how much ground we can make on some of the other cars. We do not get ahead of Ocon, so we have only made up two places from the pit stop. So, yeah, we've, we've lost time to Ocon, but we are all over the back of him here. We've got warmer tyres. This should give us a big advantage. We've got no DRS. This is raw power down towards turn three. And we head on to the inside in the hope that we can catch him on the brake and outbreak him. We can indeed turn in nicely and keep it out of the barrier. Excellent stuff. We are up to P17 now. following lap, end of lap six, and uh, more cars are pitting. So this is gonna be a real test here as to where we are actually gonna come out. So we are up to 14th, any more? Uh, 13th, but we have come out behind Lance Stroll. So we're gonna to need to, again, um, work away and try and pass him. This is uh, lap nine later on, but Massa was going really, really slow. I think Massa, it came across the radio at one point that Massa was having issues, and it kind of caught me out a bit. I, I just went, almost went into the back of Stroll there. Wasn't expecting him to be going so slow through that section. But yeah, Massa is a bit of a cork in the bottle right now as um, 
again, we get caught out so much there. We nearly actually end up in the barrier uh, with that much um, late on the brakes there. But hopefully we can get a good exit through here, get on the power nice and early, catch them with some DRS. But um, unfortunately, we didn't. This is the following lap here. And um, again, I was just very deep on the brakes. I was trying my hardest to get up to the rear of them, and uh, we nearly end up in the barrier. But we're very, very close this time at the end of lap 10. And um, we actually decided to dive up the inside of Stroll here before we um, even get in the DRS. But I think better of going against Massa. Um, I did leave Stroll room, but he did come back at me, and that's allowed him to. Um, take me once again so but we are going to have DRS here so it's going to be a three car battle I believe down to turn one let's see how it pans out pull alongside stroll into turn one we take 12th place but Massa is too far ahead of us unfortunately to be able to take the double overtake um, but we will have DRS going round turn two and down this second straight can we keep it nice and close and nice and tidy to Massa no, we cannot. And, um, yeah, lap 11, Sebastian Vettel has pulled out of the race, as has Marcus Harrison. Um, don't know what's going on there, but, uh, yeah, that's pushed us up to P11. One point away now from a points position, and we are all over the back of Massa at lap 11. Um, he, I think his problem seemed to resolve itself. He seemed to pick up the pace, but, yeah, well, I, I think this is going to be a slam dunk. We actually head out to the outside, and he's closing the door, so we head back to the inside. It's... Um, the double manoeuvre but um, yeah nicely on the brakes pull a little bit to give us a better turn in into turn one and that is p10 for a single points position on to lap 13 then and um, still holding out still holding out uh, we've got Lance Stroll behind us who's also got pass Massa and um, you know just trying to go as nicely as we can keeping this it's only one point but one point is one point we're ahead of the teammate and um, this will obviously increase um, and give us good standing in the drivers a little bit slow around there I was just being very very cautious indeed um, we've got a bit of fuel left over as well so we can up it to rich as we just did there just try and give us a bit more into this corner so this corner was a very slow corner for me like I said before I found myself I was going over the curb a lot and I didn't want to carry into the into the barrier that would be absolutely catastrophic but um, yeah as we go round this it's flat out from here to the finish line so hopefully we've got enough in the tank to um, keep us going we're 0.8 seconds ahead of Stroll at this point um, hopefully we've got enough I think we have and um, it should be a quite comfortable drive to the finish line with the rich fuel but I will turn it down because I don't want to run out of fuel as I lose speed as I cross the line of course that would be disastrous but it is 10th place today and um, one single point for okay, our championship job, battle. Really well done. That was a fantastic drive. Brilliant stuff from Mercedes today. That's another historic win. So out. How exactly did they set themselves apart from the pack today? Well, I think the track conditions just really suited their car today. Wind, track temperature, you name it. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature. So the more easily you can keep them there, the better your race tends to go. And that's exactly what happened. Their car just looks so comfortable out there. And here are our podium drivers today after that excellent race. They've excelled here as they so often do, and it's a well-deserved victory. Mercedes then are on top today. So congratulations to Lewis Hamilton who takes first place. Kimi Raikkonen behind him with Valtteri Bottas in third place. Our teammate actually finished ahead of us. I thought he finished behind us, but Roman Grosjean actually outraced us and he finished in eighth position today, um, taking four points for the team. So a nice five-point haul for the team in today's race. Looking at the standings, we have actually been moved down. Perez has had a great weekend, and he goes into 8th place, pushing both myself and Felipe Massa down to 9th and 10th, respectively. Nico Hulkenberg has made ground on us. Um, he moves up to uh, P11 with 20 points. And looking at the constructors, Mercedes strengthened their lead at the top, now two points ahead of Ferrari. I think they have taken over Ferrari with this race, so congratulations to Mercedes. We remain in seventh with Force India taking over fifth place from Renault with their good, solid weekend. Guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, we'll be back real soon 
with the Austrian Grand Prix, round nine of the championship. And until next time, I've been Nock, you've been awesome. Happy gaming.